Hey y'all, welcome to Cuppy's Crochet, where today we are going to be working on... Let me grab one. These cute little Santa hats that I've been trying to work on and get my pattern just right. I goofed royally, but you'll understand that. Let's jump in. Uh, you're going to need... If you can figure out how to make a pom-pom, I'm not going to be doing those on video. There's plenty, plenty, plenty tutorials and I'm not enjoying the way my pom-pom is looking, so maybe I'll go back and try and make one later. I'm just not good at it. Or the bell, maybe. And there's, there's cute little round bells. I may use that instead if I can find any for cheap, because I'm cheap. I goofed on my first one. We'll get to that in a minute, so let's jump in. Okay, really jump. Okay, you're going to need two colors of yarn, one for the brim and one for the main color. I'm doing mine in white and my contrasting color will be this lime green. I'm guessing that's the color. I don't know. I took the paper thing off already because I've been using it. Um, so anyway, two colors of yarn. This is what I use as a stitch marker. A yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and the hook size I'm using, because I have a small head, I'm using a 5.0, 5.0 or H hook. And paper to keep count of where you're at. So, I've got hair coming out. Oh, okay. Let's jump in. Finally. She keeps saying jump. When are we going to jump? Okay, I'm not jumping. I'm too old for that, okay? So we're going to start with a slip knot. Chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Single crochet into the next little uh, chain. One, two, three. Sorry if I'm interrupting your count. Four, five, six, seven, nine and ten I know I'm crocheting tight it doesn't matter I'm gonna undo this anyway because you'll see why in a minute now you're gonna chain one so this is uh that would be row one now for row two you're going to single crochet into that same very first stitch where you just did your chain one and in the next you're going to do the back loop only so that's one back loop only and then back loop only for the next seven so it'll be regular single crochet through both loops and then eight across so that's one and two into the back loop only keep this back loop only all back loop only for eight stitches One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and into the last, which is the tenth single crochet, you're going to regular single crochet into that one. Row two is now complete, so you can mark that off chain one, turn your work, very first stitch, regular single crochet, back loop only for eight, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and into the last single crochet. Chain one and turn. Now you see this is creating like a little ridge on here. And now you're going to see my goof. Well, you're not really going to see it because I already pulled it all out because I started another video and had to delete the whole thing because I goofed so bad. And this is what you're going to create at the end. And going through that first um, single crochet through both loops, it's just going to create a more finished look on the edge of it. So once you get to 60 rows, this is what it's going to look like. So go ahead and pause the video and work on your 60 unless you're... Oh, unless you're Jonah. Jonah, <laughs> he'll probably never see my little peon video. But by now he would have been like, okay lady, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> so anyway, pause your video and get this. Okay, you there now? Now once you get to 60, and I'm, I, I just do 60 with a smaller hook because I have a small head. And it's going to stretch anyway. So once you get to your 60 rows, I mean, you can use a larger hook or, you know, I just have a little head, so. Counting back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That doesn't seem right, but I know it is. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ha! Huh. There we go. Go in, fold, ugh, obviously, fold it in half, and slip stitch into that last one together, chain one, and double crochet, uh, not double, single crochet into that same stitch, and do that all the way across, so there's one, Two, three, I'm looking here, four, and make sure you're going through all the loops on here. You can single cr or uh, slip stitch across too if you like. It doesn't matter. Either way is cute, in my opinion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm trying, I know I'm slow, eight, nine, and ten. And I probably should have slip stitched across since I already took out that much and I can't remember now if I slip stitched across the first time or not. Anyway, chain one and where it doesn't matter if you slip stitched across or double crochet across you're always going to have this little ridge so Flip your work the other way. See how I did that? I'll do it again. Ha ha. Just grab your work and flip it. So now, I mean you can if you want, you don't have to, but see now my seam is going to be on the inside of the hat and I won't have to worry about flipping it at the end and worrying about trying to make sure the end of it pops out the way I want it to and I have issues I know so chain one 
and into basically the same stitch. Hmm. You see your little ridge here? Into that first little space. Single crochet one. And single crochet into the next one. And see, you can take your tail and sew that in if you want to. I hate sewing. I ain't gonna. Three single crochets and four. Counting back one, two, three, and four. Putting in my stitch marker because I don't want to lose my place. And if you look, if you single crochet on the ridge and then in between the ridges there's another space to single crochet into. So you're going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 60. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker. Okay, so now that I'm at the end, close, okay, now I have 58, but there's too much of a big gap here for me, or wait a minute, I have 59, <laughs> and if I put 60 here, I, I, I'm not happy with that, so for my 60th, I'm going to single crochet two together, so going into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, going into the next stitch in the loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's how I'm going to do it. And I played yarn chicken and I lost. So pulling out my stitch marker. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm right where I need to be. <laughs> um goofing so it, where we took out our stitch marker put your hook in yarn over and I have plenty left over because I was thinking we're gonna go around y'all look over me it's early in the morning still it's six I haven't had enough coffee I have reheated coffee and I just ain't cutting it so yeah <laughs> I need to make a fresh pot because from where I goofed earlier oh my goodness that was Anyway, so now you have two loops on your hook. Grab your contrast yarn and go through both of those loops together. And I'm going to pull up a good amount. Chain two. And this is not going to count as anything. I'm struggling. Okay, now with this, I'm going to make my first double crochet into that same stitch with my tail because I want to block it in really good, really well. So, one, two, and then for my third yarn over, I'm going to grab the main part of it and go through the last two loops for my double crochet and I hope that makes sense that's just how I do and double crochet into the next and I'm going to do two more one two I could have finished out that first one with that because I've got plenty. Anyway, so now I have four double crochets on there and replacing my stitch marker into the fourth one, two, three, four because our chain two is not going to count as anything and from here on out we're going to be working in the round. So double crochet in each of these all the way around for a total of 60 stitches. And if you did like me, you can cut your tails some if they're too long. Mine is so snippety doo da day. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker after you have completed this round. 
I know I'm goofing, I'm goofing, I'm goofing, but I'm trying to read my own handwriting and it's not pretty. But I'm not smart enough to be a doctor even though I have their handwriting. Anyway, I'll meet you at Stitch Marker. Alright, round one, almost complete except for the join. So I'm going to go ahead and mark one row done. I'm keeping up. Easy sailing from here on out. I hope, I think. I'm going to try y'all. I'm still learning, so, uh, do me a favor before I forget, again, please like and subscribe <laughs> to my channel and help me to help y'all, uh, I need some encouragement, because this is not what I thought it was going to be, so anyway, moving right along, round one is now complete, round two, you know how we did the, uh, chain two, yeah, we're ignoring that. Kind of. We're going to slip stitch in between that chain two to pull this together. Yarn over and instead of chaining anything we're just going to double crochet right into that first stitch. One and double crochet into the next. Two if it'll go through, everything's trying to fall off my little table here. Three and four. And replacing our stitch marker. One, two, three, four. I hope I got it in the right one. Okay, I did. Now that's just going to close that up and see where the seam is this is going to be the back of the hat anyway and now you're just going to double crochet all the way around with 60 total double crochets just like we did before and at the end of this round i will meet you back at the stitch marker for round three all right round two is done and we're not going to do any kind of weird joiny thing or whatever. Taking out our stitch marker, yarn over, and into the very, very first double crochet. It's going to be at a slant. Probably mine is. We're going to double crochet into that same very first double crochet. So there's one. Double crochet into the next. Two same three and four one two three four stitch marker back in and even though that may look a little bit wonky from the inside once we get it all made it's going to close up pretty good so from here on out we're going to be working in the continuous round ah no join no slip stitch just crochet so round three you guessed this is going to be one more round of double crochet all the way around for a total of 60 and then we're going to start on a decrease row so meet you back at the stitch marker all right round three is now complete so now we're going to work on our decrease round uh, and I'm getting kind of fumbled up here so we're going to double crochet into the next eight double crochets so there's one two putting my stitch marker back in because I'm good at losing my place three four five six seven and eight 
now we are going to uh, get tangled in white yarn. Well, that's what I'm doing. I hope you're not. There it is. I'm so good at getting tangled. Okay, so now we have eight double crochets and we are going to do a decrease double crochet over the next two. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. What am I doing? I'm not used to being on camera trying to explain. So yarn, okay. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. And now you'll have three loops on your hook. Pull through all three loops. One more time. Eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now a decrease over the next two, so yarn over, going in, yarn over, yarn over, yarn over, our favorite word. Now through three loops, yarn over and pull through three loops. And keep going, doing this same pattern all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. And you will have a total of 54 stitches. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker. All right, eight and decrease on two, 54 stitches, taking out our stitch marker. Now we're going to double crochet all the way around for a total of 54 stitches still. And it's just as simple as that. And three, four, 50 to go. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker after I've completed my round. All right, 54. <clears throat> 54 stitches complete. Trying to find this to pull out my stitch marker. All right, now we're going to double crochet into the next seven. One. Pretend I got my stitch marker and I'll do it after we do this. Okay, so seven double crochets and a decrease double crochet. So one and two together. So now that's a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two double crochets together all the way around for a total of 48 stitches and I will meet you back at the stitch marker. Okay, I've lost my place on where I'm actually at so I think that was, what round was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm guessing. I don't know, I'm gonna go back and look. I'm kind of losing my place here. Hmm. Yeah, that was seven. Okay. Because I keep forgetting to mark off my round so I can write down my pattern correctly. So round seven is done. Round eight. Pulling out our stitch marker. And double crochet all the way around for a total of... I'm looking again. I know it's 48, but I want to make sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. One, two, replacing my stitch marker. I still haven't made my coffee yet. 
but I'm going to do that in a minute. So double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back at the stitch marker, hopefully with coffee. Don't know if that recorded or not. So anyway, 48 stitches done. Now 48 double crochets in each and every one all the way around and that will complete round I'm looking here one two three four the heck if I know <laughs> oh my goodness I'm looking seven yeah I don't know I'm gonna get this figured out and I will meet you back at the stitch marker after you've completed this round of double crochets only with coffee. All right, I figured out where I'm at. So that completed round seven with 48 stitches. So now we're going to start on round eight with another decrease. And we're going to double crochet into the next six. So one, two, three. I'm still not caffeinated enough yet. So I'm putting my stitch marker in. So that's three, four, five, and six. I'm making sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a decrease double crochet. So yarn over, going in, yarn over, going in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through those two, yarn over, and go through all three. So six double crochets and one increase over the next two, and you'll have seven. Continue that pattern all the way around. At the end of this round, round eight, I had to look, you will have a total of 42 stitches. And go ahead and spit it out for you. At the end of round eight for round nine, you're going to double crochet all the way around those. And you'll still have a total of 42 stitches. And I will meet you back for round 10, right? 8, 9, 10. Yep, I'll meet you back for round 10. Alright, round 9 is now complete with our 40, how many ever? 42 double crochets, right? I'm looking, yeah. So round 10, we're moving our stitch marker and double crochet into the next 5. One, two, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Pew, right in there. And over the next two we are going to decrease so the next and the next three stitches and pull through all three loops and continue this all the way around five decrease five decrease for a total of 36 stitches for round 10 and then for round 11 you are going to double crochet all the way around and still have a total of 36 double crochets and I will meet you back at the stitch marker for round what will that be? It's 10, 11, so I'll meet you back at 12. Okay, round 11 is now complete. Round 12, we are going to double crochet into the next where am I at? 11 and 12. Into the next four. Double crochet into the next four. So one, two, three, 
my project is falling off my table here so it's hard to hold. Three and four. One, two, three, four. And decrease. Maybe if I move my camera this way. Ignore my junk. <laughs> it's just heavy because it's trying to fall off the edge of the table here. So, decrease over the next two. And repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 double crochets. And at the end of this round 12, you'll go into round 13, which is a double crochet all the way around. You guessed right, if that's what you thought. And I will meet you back for round 14. All right, round 13 is now complete. So round 14, removing our stitch marker, we are going to double crochet into the next three. One, My project is still trying to go off the edge of the table. Two. And three. And double crochet two together over the next two. One. Two. Go through all three loops. Stitch marker. Here because one two three four total stitches and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 24 stitches let's see if I'm right <laughs> yeah 24 stitches and then round 15 will be a double crochet all the way around Still a total of 24 stitches, and I will meet you back for row round 15. Okay, I believe I goofed. I believe I said I'd meet you back for round 15, but round 15 was the double crochet all the way around. So, round 16, removing our stitch marker, we are going to double crochet. Making sure I'm right here. Yeah. Round 16. We are going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So one and two. Uh, trying to grab my stitch marker. One, two. And over the next two, we are going to decrease one, two, go through all three loop, loops, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one, two, one, two, together, two double crochets, one, two together, all the way around, and at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 18. And I'm writing this down now. 16. I wrote this pattern out, but I can't read my own handwriting. So I'm sure you guys can't. Um, so at the end of round 16, you're going to have 18 stitches. So for round 17, you are going to double crochet around. Again, just double crochets. Still a total of 18 stitches. And I will meet you back here for round 18. Alright, that completes round 17. Removing our stitch marker. Round 18. Getting kind of hard to work in here now. <laughs> okay, well, for me it was already getting hard. For me, it's getting harder. Double crochet into our next stitch. And over the next two, we are going to double crochet two together. So there's one, and there's two. So one, two. 
I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. That's 18. And for round 19, you're going to double crochet around those 12 times. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. Don't worry, we're almost done. Alright, round 19 is done. Moving on to round 20. We are going to carefully try not to drop anything here. Double crochet two together. One. And two. Replacing my stitch marker, even though I can count. I'm trying here. I'm struggling. Big. And decrease in the next two together. One. Two. All the way around. So that's two, three, three, four, four. I'm trying here. I'm running out of room. Five. Five. Yarn split. Gotta love it, right? Normally I'm not struggling like this because I have it closer to me and in my lap but I'm stretched out just so I can try and film and this is very uncomfortable. So I'm kind of slow. And six. Alright, I'm going off camera for a second here because I'm all kind of weirded up over here. And it's twisting. Okay, so we've got six total stitches. And look in here. I'm trying to get it even smaller. So I'm not putting my stitch marker back in, but I'm going to double crochet decrease again. If I can. So there's one. And yeah, that was around, so I'm trying here. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So there's one, and I hope I'm going into the right stitch. I'm trying to see. Two. Two. I know I'm going off camera, but I'm on limited space here. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my stitch marker to just get it out of my way. And our very last stitch. This will be two together. And that will be a total of three for the very, very last one. Yay. Okay. Looking for my scissors. Ugh. Probably cutting it too long. Don't care. Alright, and into the next stitch. I think that's the next one. It's kind of hard to tell. Pick a stitch. <laughs> I think that's the next slip stitch into it. And pull it right on out. Loading up our 
yarn needle. This is why I have to have fingernails because I have to have my fingernail to be able to do that. So into the first stitch you can get that little stitch in. If I can get it through here, that's where it's going. Through one loop and into the next or close one loop. And then into the next. I'm trying to keep it as close as I can to the center. And picking into the next one. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it sewn in so that it won't come out. Now I'm coming up, I don't see any more one loops except for over here. So I'm going to go through both of these loops. And the next time I make this, because I do have a few more to make, now I'm going through one. You know, you don't have to follow this exactly. Because I'm probably going to do different on the next one. As long as you get that tail sewn in pretty good. So it won't come out. And I'm trying to keep also, you know, keep it where it won't be any holes at the top and look all kind of goofy. So just sew it in how you see fit. And I think that's going to be my last one. Cutting my tail close. Don't cut your project. I did that a few times before. And i tell you what I did, because I'm not good at correcting my work. I cried like a little baby. And then I redid the entire project, because I don't know how to fix things, and I don't want to do that anyway. I want them right, because I'm afraid of everything coming out. So, now our hat is complete. If I can figure out how to zoom out here. There we go, yay. So see, this is where we first, first started right here you can see there's a tiny little gap here or there but it's really not that noticeable and our seam is back here underneath so if you didn't already flip your hat inside out or outside in whatever go ahead and do that now if you don't want your seam showing on the other ones that I did I didn't flip it until after I was done and it didn't make much of a difference. Some I did, some I didn't, but I just wanted to make one where it was the way I wanted it. So that's the back, and this is the front, and in my opinion, it's pretty good in shape. I'm going to stretch it a little because I want to see if this will work. Because in my opinion, it kind of looks like more of a bell shape. There we go. It's still got that kind of a bell shape right along in here, but then it goes up like a Santa hat. But your head's going to be in here anyway, so <laughs> come on. Now here at the end, again, here's my little version of a pom-pom so far. I'm not going to do one of these on camera. Again, I stink at it. Or I have this little jingle bell, and I just don't think that's going to look right. At the top, if I had the little round bells, that would be cute. But you can decorate it however you want. You can do the pom-pom. Leave it off. You can leave it just how it is. Maybe ribbons going around it or something. I don't know. Be creative. You do you. And if you look up at the top on my banner, you'll see where I'm linked to Facebook and Instagram. I'm not great at Instagram. I got it just because... I want to learn something just like I'm learning YouTube. You're never too old to learn new things. Sometimes I don't want to learn new things. <laughs> and maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, if you go to my YouTube page, I will put this video on my page. And feel free to please, I'm asking you, please show me yours 
in the comments. My page is public. Um, usually I, I go on my personal page, which is linked. I'm not really good about going on my actual crochet page because I have a lot going on right now. But I'm not a private person and I don't post any ugly stuff. So anyway, show me yours. And don't forget to please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'll hit the little notification bell, how cute is that? You will get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm helping out heaven here. Okay, that was kind of wrong, but y'all know what I mean? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. So, there's a lot of wings. <laughs> That's annoying, I know. Y'all, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Whether it's, oh, have a wonderful morning, noon, or night. Because I know some of you, like me at times, you're night owls. Can't sleep. So, have a wonderful morning, noon, or night. And be blessed. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.